Hello everybody, welcome to the new patch notes. Uh, this this is going live very soon, they said. A small a small patch, it's already happened? No, I don't think so. I think it's about to happen very soon. Um, so yeah, we've got Prince Arthur is now, it was a three cost three three, now he's a four cost five five, so he's got much, much worse which makes Miri much, much worse, which means people who've bought Miri are going to feel <laughs> a lot worse. Um, Prince and Princess were showing up too much in games and present numbers too big. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. He, he was... So he's better than he was. He was a 4-5, wasn't he? So now he's, he's at least better than he was. But this is just like an emergency band-aid because he was, he was clearly OP. So they made it not OP. Um, and then they'll try and work out something, yeah, which is which is good because like it would be nice for it to be an option without it being not an option or the only option, isn't it? They went from never an option to the only option, so now they're they're reverting it to not really an option, and uh, maybe but maybe with Miri, like maybe with Miri still, it'd still be all right, I guess. But um, yeah, this is huge for trees. Round table is now seven instead of a six. Um, so there you go. Round table is one of the best treasures in the game and is too consistently led to monster dream builds when you find it. So yeah. So round table going to seven means that good boy is now going to be pretty dominant, right? Good boy slash Bearstein slash um, pumpkins are, are much more consistent. Like trees aren't really an option unless you get seven and like so you can't really shoot for them either so like it's weird it's weird that you're gonna have to hit a tier seven treasure and then if you get round table then you can build trees whereas before if you hit holy grail you got the trees and you got the round table basically um so yeah i mean it, it is a really good treasure it's weird it's weird um I don't know how polarizing it will be to Good Boy because I think Good Boy is just better than Pumpkin, basically, and pretty much better than Bearstein. So I feel like it might lead to too much Good Boys, but then, you know, obviously everything can lose to everything, can't it? But when you compare Roundtable to like Holy Grail and Mirror Mirror and Excalibur, even it it doesn't seem good enough to be seven like what when it when round table is good it's dominant isn't it but uh, i i'm i can see it being rarely taken also there's more competition for tier sevens now so you will see you know excalibur mirror mirror and holy grail less often when you hit a tier seven treasure it will be more disappointing tier seven treasure um <laughs> things yes <laughs> yes gpg yeah that's a that's a big huge nerf to trees um Interesting. So there you go. Heartwood Elder, they've made it actually useful because a 2 9 is terrible spread of stats, isn't it? So it's got one more stat overall. 12 points of stats instead of 11, and a much more, you know, useful, a much more useful uh, stat spread. It can actually kill things. Like, it's horrible when, when, when you play this. <laughs> oh, it's good as well. Oh, wow. That's interesting, isn't it? That's that's very interesting. It's good. Yeah, give some love back to Treants. Because, um, yeah, it, it was really hard to ever take a, a Heartwood Elder. Like, some, occasionally I polywoggled into it. And when I did, I was like, God, this unit's crap. <laughs> and it's a lot better when it's a 5-7. And it pairs with the happy little tree a lot better, doesn't it? Gingerbread Party is now a 3 cost. That's interesting. Um, because I never played this for four, <laughs> so I guess I guess that's what their stats told you that people just didn't didn't play this, so they've reduced it to three, so people might play it. And then there's some bug fixes, so there you go. Um, improve the in-game pairings. That's good because it you often played people multiple times in a row, didn't you? can no longer play against dead players back to back I'm not sure I've ever had that but that's crazy oh yeah against dead players yeah I've played two ghosts in a row but now you now you can never play against two good two ghosts okay 
Miri King Lion is now retroactive when you switch into him, so he becomes a lot better with uh, with Mask and like obviously as a you're gonna very unlikely to um, dream into him, but with Mask that's really good, isn't it? That you could uh, you could have already completed your Cinderella or like an early triple and then Mask into Miri, so that's very good for Mask. Transforming into an upgrade Prince or Princess no longer counts as an upgrade for Miri. I think that's with um, Hand of Midas, which is fair because it doesn't count. It's like a it's like a knighthood, isn't it? Um, abilities were being lost. Okay, and the character is transformed. It will now correctly transform back. That was a very annoying bug when people had like you know <laughs> golden statues and stuff on their team and things like that and pigs. <laughs> Ah, that's good. When a character completes its quest and is then temporarily transformed, it will now correctly upgrade when it transforms back. Yeah. Ah, so that's what... I had that a few times. I had, like, uh, Hercules complete his quest, and then he wasn't an upgraded one, and I also had um, the Nutcracker complete his quest, and then he wasn't upgraded. And I guess it's because... I guess it's because he was transformed to, like, a statue or whatever, and then, and then he uh, didn't end up being an upgraded one. So that's good that that's fixed. Fixed a bug where blind mouse could get higher level treasures than intended after being temporarily transformed. Wow. Um, no, Mimic was not doubling Helm of the Ugly Goslings sometimes. Lancelot can no longer complete his quest while in hand. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's wild. Like, I've nearly had him do that. I've, I, I believe I've had him as a 24-24 from Miri before. Um, so I, I've, I've got close to doing that by accident. I didn't even think that you could complete his quest while in hand. But yeah, I, I nearly did it just accidentally. And uh, attack bonuses from your opponent's eye of Ares no longer show when you return to the shop. Ah. Ah, so there you go. So some bug fixes. I mean, the big one's the transforming. Um, I wonder if they fix the... Uh, the Ambrosia one, a few times I've had something with Ambrosia and it's been upgraded and then it's been like, you know, turned into a statue or whatever, or a pig. And then when I've got back, it's it's then turned upgraded. I don't know if that's been fixed, maybe. Um, but yeah, Gingerbread Party is a good change, isn't it? Heartwood Elves is definitely a good change. Round Table is an interesting one because it, it ruins trees, basically. You're basically not really going to want to pick up you're definitely not going to pick up trees as an option anymore, are you? You're not going to, like, think, oh, well, I'll get a couple of Ashwoods just in case, or whatever. You just... You're probably going to have to hit the round table first and then build the trees, which is going to be very dodgy with Ashwood, isn't it? That's huge nerf. And then, yeah, Arthur means royals are pretty much dead um, as a go-to strategy, and it means... Gwen is back to not being overpowered, which is nice. So yeah, very interesting patch. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.